Hello my friends, Scott here representing Youth Potential and today I have the lovely Carla Barry with me who is my gorgeous girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so right today guys, um, as a request I'm going to be talking about the top 10 distraction techniques. Um, this is mostly aimed at helping people curb their urges away from self-harm but at the same time it can be used as a, as a technique to distract yourself from feeling depressed, anxious, angry, those kinds of things. I know I've felt those emotions plenty of times. I know yeah. you have, not towards me, fortunately. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, these, these are all techniques that you guys can use. They're pretty, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Practical. And anyway, so here we go, the top 10. So number 10. Number 10 is to shower or groom. Basically kind of yeah, some lovely uh, self-care products there. It's basically self-care in terms of, you know, looking after yourself physically. It could be, giving, you know, you guys out there, if you have a beard, give yourself a bit of a brush down, curl co your hair, put some nice product in it. And obviously have a shower just because you don't want to smell like shit. Yeah. Having like that kind of like fresh overall clean, cleanliness, looking smart, it, it just makes you feel good. You know, you're able to look at yourself in the mirror and just think, wow, okay, I'm, I'm all right looking because I know from time to time, it is difficult to feel confident about yourself if you've dressed like shit, basically. But if you, you know, spruce yourself up, up a little bit, have a nice little groom, have a wash, shower, etc., etc., it's just, you know, really nice. Yeah. So number nine. Number nine, yes, is watch YouTube. I know you like watching YouTube because you're currently watching YouTube. You're watching um, me go on and on but uh yeah watch youtube what i really like about watching youtube is that there's obviously a variety of videos that you can watch it doesn't have to be about mental health or distraction techniques or whatever it can be something funny like a cat jumping uh, trying to climb up a curtain yeah that is an actual curtain i've got next to me um but it could, off a bin. yeah fall, cat falling off a bin or a person falling off a bin or your driving videos my driving videos yeah. oh yeah nice videos of people that are really bad drivers caught on camera i like watching them so yeah i mean funny things are like really good to watch obviously uh because it's just makes you laugh and laughing is really good for you but at the same time you can watch something educational something inspiring just whatever does it for you but yeah okay number eight number eight is playing with fidget toys that's not a fidget toy, that's a comb. Oh yes. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, probably my favourite one. Yeah, the tangle. You guys know that I've talked about in a previous video. Oh, does that thing light up? Yeah. Yeah, there we go, that thing lights up. It's a bit weird, but it is a fidget toy and it's really good. So guys, fidget toys... I'm just going to take hold of this because I haven't got mine with me. Um, I'll, you guys know I've done a video about fidget toys before. They're just really good to carry around with you anytime. If you're getting the urges to feel like you want to self-harm or you feel like crap or you feel angry. There's a variety, a variety of these toys that you can play with that just kind of help transmute those kind of feelings into like physical activity. So yeah, I think these are the really good. Definitely get yourself a Tangle. They're only a couple of quid, get them on eBay. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Yeah, I, I definitely recommend <laughs> them. Stress balls as well, they're really good. I don't have yeah. mine on me, but uh, you normally crush my hand if you're feeling stressed yeah. or vice versa. Okay, so cool. number seven. Number seven is to tidy, clean, or organize. Uh, oh wait, here comes oh, the prop. Here you go. Oh yeah, because I'm, 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 I know, I'm filthy. <laughs> what we really mean is uh, to tidy your room, organize it, clean it, give it a dust. I don't know, maybe you've got a mountain of clothes that need putting away. Yeah. Yeah, which that's... you have quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I won't turn the camera around because that, that's over there. It's not really. It's only because I don't have a wardrobe, so. <sighs> Uh, yeah excuses excuses no um i think you know you spend a lot of time in your bedroom and it's i don't know if you guys know your environment affects like your mood and the way you think yeah. having a nice tidy clean and organized environment that you spend time in just helps keep that mind clear definitely absolutely so if you've got loads of crap everywhere give it a good clean trust me just it feels nice uh, that about you guys, anyone who's got OCD or whatever, sometimes you start cleaning one little thing, then you notice another thing and then another. And then before you know it, you've cleaned your entire room and it looks fabulous. And it's nice to come home at the end of the day to a bed that's been made. It's it's just comfy, it's just organized, you know. Having mess around you just, I don't know, it scrambles your thinking, it's not good. Okay, so number six. Number six is to have a nap. 
very good distraction technique. Um, I know people talk about depression naps quite a lot. Um, I have to nap because I take medication that makes me nap. And it's just, it's better than doing any damage to yourself for sure. It's obviously just another way to recharge your, your batteries, so to speak, your mental batteries. Um, the problem is you can't afford to nap too much because then it actually becomes really tiring. You notice that you'll get up and you'll feel like really like dazed and confused and like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, yeah, just, just sort of like lethargic, not feeling like you can do much. So you've got to try and find a balance between being able to nap when your body's like telling you it needs to sleep and then at the same time not sleeping too much. Obviously they recommend eight hours of sleep. I think six hours of sleep is a sensible amount. Um, if you get less than that, definitely try and find time to nap during the day, okay? So the next one is number five. Ah, playing video games. I'm sure many people, yeah, you show them that PlayStation yeah. 4 controller. Yeah, it's all about the Switch, Pokemon Let's Go. Yeah. Yeah, so playing video games, what's really good about that is obviously there are a variety of games out there to like cater to different mood. Like if you're feeling angry, definitely going around shooting people on Call of Duty is really good. Um, or if you like survival horror, if you just want to distract your, your mind and play something like Resident Evil, that's a really good one. Keeps you focused and on edge. Definitely takes me away from like feeling anxious, ironically. Um, or there's driving games. Or obviously you can invite friends, friends around and play games like Mario Kart and stuff like that. But yeah, for me, video games, really good distraction technique because I want to win, you know. Yeah. I want... so <laughs> you, yeah, yeah, you beat me all the time at any <laughs> game. Seriously, she does. Um, but yeah, that, that competitive like kind of mindset is a really good way of like keeping distracted, definitely. Mm. Okay. So number four. Number four is, um, I haven't actually got a practical prop other than the notes that I've got on here, is to work on your goal, or my goal in my circumstance. So I know you guys may not have a goal that you want to achieve, and I've said to you before in many of videos that you need to be working towards something. If you don't know what you want to do with your life, then just start with something simple, like maybe it's making the goal to tidy your room. Maybe it's making a goal to find a job. Maybe it's a, a goal to create something. Um, you can probably see this massive like Pokemon wall behind me. And this isn't mine, this is uh, Carla's. Wait, have I got this shot right? Yeah. Um, she created this and she's taken up plenty of time to do it, but definitely a really good creative thing. So yeah, guys, uh, set yourself a goal, whether it's small, medium or high, just achieve something working towards something kind of gives you that sense of purpose that sense of being um and obviously youth potential is a goal of mine to just expand on that and create more content and for me it's really good for my well-being and when i'm helping people i definitely don't feel like doing anything crazy to myself because i'd be a bit of a hypocrite otherwise yeah so number three number three is going for a walk yeah. Definitely. So when we go for a walk, we definitely play lots of Pokemon, Pokemon Go. If you're not a fan of Pokemon Go, fair enough. Going for a walk's enough. But if you do play it, then definitely play it whilst going for a walk. But the idea of going for a walk, you know, get outside, get some fresh air. And also being able, when you walk about and you're using your body, it's kind of like, again, transmuting those unpleasant thoughts or feelings into physical activity. So it's... It just yeah helps express that constructively without doing anything ridiculous, and obviously going for a walk is good exercise as well for your for your legs and yeah definitely a good way like if you take your fidget toys with you I do this quite a lot take fidget toys with me whilst going for a walk I have like a stress ball in one hand Pokemon Go on my phone in another so if I'm angry I can do that but then I can have fun at the same time and my mind is just on that and not being self destructive basically. Yeah. So, yeah, and usually when I come back, I'm really thirsty and hungry as well, so food's good. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So, number two. Number two is to listen to music, whether you're a fan of hip hop, rock and roll, heavy metal, dance, or the terrible pop music. <laughs> anyway, hit it. Yeah, yeah, we love a bit of, uh, bit of heavy metal and hardcore, but yeah, music, it's... You guys know what kind of effect music has on you. It doesn't matter what mood you're in, there is always a song to kind of cater to that emotion and it enables you to kind of, through listening, kind of have that self-expression 
and rather than doing something destructive to yourself you're able to just listen and yeah just take it all in and kind of familiarize yourself because whatever song you're listening to maybe it's a song that's motivating you to kind of feel stronger you know songs about strength and growth and stuff like that or maybe it's a a sad song and you just kind of need that familiarity so that you can express it for yourself without rather than just going straight in and harming yourself um yeah yeah music definitely music one of my favorites yeah so the last one number one. Oh, my favorite uh distraction technique of all time is spending time with or talking to my loved ones mm. <laughs> <laughs> um loved ones being partners friends family can even be work colleagues or uh, teachers anything like that it's just you know you guys i'm sure you've been told a thousand times you've got to talk you've got to open up about you know if you if you're feeling down you're feeling angry just you've got to express that that feeling that emotion that thought verbally before it becomes a self-destructive action you really don't want that so yeah when i'm spending times with my loved ones i'm getting that oxytocin release and that's the that's the the love chemical the love brain chemical as it's known when you give someone a hug and they cuddle you back oxytocin is released and it just feels so comforting spending time with people that you love just doing things together it's so distracting and they'll just keep talking to you hopefully and just take your mind away from all the stress the the, the depression the anxiety the anger whatever it is Obviously you have to be careful, you're not spending too much time with people that are poisonous for you because you may have loved ones that are actually more detrimental to your well-being. They may be saying things that are just making you more pissed off, making you more sad. As much as they're a loved one, you've kind of if you can't bring it to their attention that they're that 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 you're no, they're making you worse, then you have to kind of create that distance. But fortunately, I think we're in a position where we've got a lot of people that really care about us and we do spend time with each other yeah. and you've got to do that regularly and not just when you're feeling low or angry just without a doubt human interaction communication it's so important for your well-being it's a preventative measure as well as a reactive measure to needing to distract yourself anyway guys so that's my top 10 personal favorite distraction techniques I hope these techniques um, have kind of helped shed some light on things and maybe that you you can use them. I really hope that you can because that's the whole point of this video. If you guys want to share your top 10 favourite or just any favourite distraction techniques, please leave a comment below. And if you could hit the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate that, obviously. Uh, go tell all your friends about this video. <laughs> no, seriously, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much. So take care, everyone. See you later. Bye.